think I'm making up this story. I am not a busybody, my prince. I am telling you what is happening. They are planning to make him the next king. I have told you that I am not bothered. Oh, you have to be bothered. Ike Dinibu, you have to be bothered. These elders are deadly politicians. And once they decide on anything, they hardly look back. Then let them go ahead. If they feel that they have what it takes to dislodge the gods of Omon get a kingdom, so be it. Please, Ikedinibu, I am begging you. Call these elders and tell them that you have finally decided to allow things to continue being the way they are. And once you are made king, you can do whatever you want. Yes. The same lies that politicians tell the people all the time. Because they fear nothing. I'm not a liar. I'm not a deceitful person. I'm not going to get people behind me with lies. I'm an upright man. I tell them exactly what I am going to do once I ascend the throne. Can't you see that we are losing out already? If any, maybe. If any, maybe. Ndilo, stop giving me an impression of an inconsistent man. To you, spoke to me about a wifey. See what part of what happened to you? Yes, I was the one who introduced you to a wifey see But this has gone higher than him. It has. These politicians are deadly. We may wake up one morning and hear over the radio that Silas Ilo has been crowned the next king. Now tell me, how would you feel as a crown prince? And I will accept that the gods never wanted me to be king. But don't with this discussion in the way. Enjoy the rest of your day. <sighs> Ikedinibo, I like the response you gave your friend. If the gods are interested in this restoration you seek, they are going to do it their way. Yeah, oh boy, if you, that is what I believe. But my concern right now is that it looks like the gods are giving this man too much room to perpetrate their evil. There is the movement of the gods. That is how the gods function. I don't want you to get yourself agitated over nothing. Just calm down. Even if it happens finally that today, they crown Silas the king. Don't get yourself agitated. Just calm down. Keep silent and watch what is going to happen. Buffy, I, I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Buffy, how does that even make sense? What? We are still meant to remain silent even if they go ahead to crown him king? It is one thing to crown somebody king. And another thing for that person to find subjects to govern as the king. Don't be agitated that I said that already. Allow the gods to do their thing. Learn to follow the gods. That has been my secret and I want you to learn it. <laughs> Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Kili kili kana buko se na na ya liyo lu Oki yo koko Kili kili kana buko se na 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 ya liyo lu Oki yo koko Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Oh, I know, Chesney.
Prince Ikedinibu. Must you? Must you? They're the gods. Why do you always talk tough? Even if you must talk tough everywhere, must you equally talk tough here? I am the owner of Umungene Kingdom. And, and nothing. Silas. Nothing. I am here in my capacity as the prince of Umungene Kingdom. Who understands how the gods move? To tell you the royalty has nothing to do with having a beautiful house. What do you mean by that? Um, this is your first time coming into this compound. If you don't mind, let's go in so that I will offer you coin. Silas, Hilo, I'm not interested in your hospitality. I am here to remind you that royalty is deeper than putting up a beautiful edifice. Kill your ambition to become king. For I am the heir to the throne of Omongene. You are the son of the late king. And as of today, I am the heir to the throne of Umungene Kingdom. It will happen before your eyes. I will become the king. And there is nothing you will do to stop me. Did you hear me? Silas. All the strong forces in Umungene have come together. Already to make me king. They're just waiting for the right time to come so they can make it obvious to the people. And the truth will reign supreme. Do not make yourself available to take my place. For it will backfire. Dogu kena atuaka. Asi no dogu kena atuaka, Prince. Ike di nebo. Jeke igwa your native doctor. Omala agu. Ini fengu age. Omala agu. Boss, there is this intimidating aura that moves with him. Don't mind him. He is in possession of all these uh, small, small charms. But don't mind him. In Polish, we call people like him. Kuvamash. In Spanish, Putamatra. Do you know what it means? No, boss. What have you decided? It is my firm belief that you have changed your mind. Hit me with it. My princess, I have not changed my mind. I have made it clear to you that Ike Dinibu has vowed to see this to the end. He cannot stop and I feel we should support him. How much do you want? How much should I offer you to make him see reason? Is that how you see me, my princess? You really believe I am one of those men that could be paid and they will betray their own friends? Betray? How? I cannot possibly pay you to betray my own brother. I'm only asking you to help me talk to him for him to see reasons. For crying out loud, Ike Dinibo is destroying the land. No, he is not. He is actually doing a good job and I feel we should support him. Support him. 
I will give you the sum of 500,000 Naira right now. Send your details to me and you will get the alert. I will not give you the room to start the bargaining because I know you will increase the offer to entice me. If you like, give me all the money in the central bank. I will not betray my friend. Support him for he needs your support. Do not call me again to the palace to discuss this. Have a nice day. Hmm. What is really going on? He has surrounded himself with thy hard supporters. And no one is even listening to me. You have to calm down and explain what is the problem. Can you imagine? Hmm? That useless prince came to my house to threaten me. What? I mean, is he alright at all? He said some forces have already made him the king. What exactly does that mean? It means nothing. Possibly something he created to get you agitated. Please, Omwa, don't play into the hands of that rat. Don't. I'm a chair. I am not playing into his hands. Who is he to get me agitated? But I'm afraid. I will not take it the next time this happens. I will teach him the lesson he will not forget. You have my support, Onwa. Deal with him anyhow you deem fit. Also, Wagoya. Eh? If a cobra fails to rise and attack like a cobra, some people will conclude that it's an ordinary snake. If he told you that I said something about you, then he should be able to tell you exactly what I said. He did not tell me what you said, but I can assure you that he's not happy with what you said to him. Asa, please, please, stop inviting people here to discuss me. Because I do not discuss you with anyone. That is because I have not done anything to compromise the integrity of the royal household or destroying the land you have been the one doing that and i will continue to seek for help until i find one Hassan, they stop seeking for help i don't need help i'm fine i am here i'm in control and i'm fine I am on my way to your house. <laughs> good. I met you on the way. Have you heard the good news? You're looking at the next king of Omungene Kingdom. Well, it's not new information. I mean, it's been flying around for a while. What I don't understand is what it's got to do with me. <sighs> I'm surprised you're asking the question. What it means is that you will be the next queen of Omungene Kingdom. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, are you this daft that you can't tell when a woman likes you or not? Listen, Silas, if you like, be the king of all kings, of all the seven kingdoms around here. I will never be your wife. Do not say what you will regret later. Listen, I only stopped because I thought you had something important to say. Have a good day. You're walking out on me? Onwa Napolan. Onwa Were Nukunri. 
So because he is your own one, I should have knelt down to talk to him. At least, you should have accorded him some respect. I mean, this is a young man that loves you and even wants to make you his wife. Why exactly. disrespect him? I can see you ladies don't want to have a peaceful stroll this evening. So I suggest you let me be and let me stroll by myself. Become friends with such an unreasonable person. Oh, I see reasons with that. No most times you need to make this man pass through the eye of the needle. They will never respect you. You think so, so? I know. Let's just allow her. Let's just let her be. Okay? She'll be fine. Let's leave her. Let's go. Do we crown him king when nobody has ever been crowned king from his lineage? Uh, the, okay, okay, that is not an excuse at all. Money can always force anything hey. to start. Okay. Uh, when he becomes a king, uh, it means that he is the first person in his lineage to become a king. Oh. And do you know the, the most important aspect of what we are saying? Yes. Mm. Is that you have to very beautiful house, oh. a magnificent <laughs> edifice, yeah? even more beautiful than the, the, the palace. We will just him? crown him there and become our king. It's a joke. What of the crown? What of the crown? Uh, will Prince Kedinibo accept to release the crown for us to crown another person king? Okay. Ah, Jojo, it's okay. okay. Mm. We are not even going to disturb him with that request. Oh. Okay, okay. If he likes, let him keep the crown of his father. Oh. Uh, we can always get a crown for oh. him. Yes. Once we name him king, we will give one million naira to the commissioner of chieftains and they will issue him with a certificate oh. and register him as a king. <laughs> 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 Another important thing. Okay. As Belinda, the daughter of each year, Ilopotive has rejected him. I think he needs another woman as a wife. Is he aware of this? Uh -uh. Zobiora. Half of noon is your corner up and Katojo. I see that you and your men have gathered. Huh? Prince Kedin, you are here. And why is that fool ringing the royal bell for you? He's ringing the royal bell because I was born into royalty. And I shall die again. Hey, 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 stop! Stop it! Stop it! I never wanna. Hey, hey! If uh, you ring that bell one more time, I will teach you in a brutal way that I'm still in Zobiora, that the deities are void. Ichie, Obiora. 
you know that the deity is to not avoid you. Stop being ridiculous. As a matter of fact, it is men like you that avoid the deities. Why? Because your hands drip of immorality. Needless to remind you all that this is not in any way a friendly visit. Continue in your evil ways. Very soon you all shall find out that men are nothing without the gods. I can see you only want to provoke us or maybe somebody here will slap you. Then you will start an education that will break our plan. These men you see here are far above that level. Ichie, I choose to ignore your irrelevant rant and get back to the reason I am here. I am here to remind you all that my name is Prince Ike Dinibo. I shall become the king of Umungene Kingdom and all of you, each and every one of you, will be answerable to me. And the ancestral practice of Ikamanile shall be brought back to Allah. Imagine. So, uh, where well, my fellow, I am certain that we all understand the implication of what he just eh? And uh, we see what for our engineered him. And I want us to see this as a war. 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 But we are not afraid of war. If he wants one, we are equal to the task. We'll Listen, he has turned us into our eyes. Yes. We mm -hmm. shall give him gunpowder. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Who is a wealthy civil power, by the way? Let us pretend. Let us pretend that if we never had the stopping power. Okay. Let us continue with our plans. Let's continue with our plans. Let us forget about diversion. We will send words to Onwa. He needs to get married immediately. Then. We, we we get done with the coronation. Yes. Ka, the, ka oh, Let me know yeah. what that boy Bolavia. Honestly, I am not even finding this funny at all. I was having such a smooth relationship with you before all these things started. Obi. Now I can't even see you at will anymore. Obi. It'll pass. Okay? This too shall pass. And we will overcome. These people might have created a gap between you and I, but our hearts still beat for each other. And that is what is most important. We will overcome. Okay? Just hang in there. We'll be fine. I don't understand the kind of elders we have running the affairs of this kingdom. I mean, how can they settle for a character like Silas? They want his money. And the overambitious idiot is willing to spend the money. Is that even possible? To take your father's throne? A throne that belongs to your family and give it to someone else because of money? I went to Ajani Uku and Obimbako. I made my intentions for Omongene known. Also solicited for their help. My love, I believe that as far as this matter is concerned, I have crossed my teeth and dotted my eyes. 
If the gods would allow Silas Ilo be crowned king, then I'll take it that they never liked the plans that I have for the people of Umongene. And I'll leave it at that and just move on with my business. What is the meaning of this? What were you doing at father's grave? I watched you walk in there. I went in there to pray. Do you have a problem with it, Asa? He was my father. So I have every right to know what anyone does there. Like I said, I went in there to pray. But I think you should go in there as well and pray, because you're fast. Lucilla. No. You are the one who is going to lose the throne very soon. No amount of prayer you say in Father's grave would save you. No amount. Do the needful and stop all this madness. For crying out loud, this is politics. Play politics with politicians. And stop moving around with native doctors. Uh, who do you refer to as a native doctor? Chief Iwuno Akodiofu. The one you call Owefu Siwe Puawo of Omongene Kingdom. He is a native doctor. He does not understand the politics going on. And please, Ikedinibo, my father is dead. Allow him rest in peace. Stop going into his room unnecessarily. And now the spirit of my fathers, I know they are with me. Again, Ori, I fall Amen. Ah. I will never give it up. I will never give it up. to call you this last time to know if you've changed your mind. Who's this, please? Oh, you didn't save this number. Well, uh, this is Owa Nomongene. Why are you calling me, please? I got you a new Range Rover Sports. They will deliver it to you tomorrow. Listen. I want to make you my wife and I assure you I will ensure you remain happy all the days of your life. Well, I am not interested in your range of response. You can give it to any of those beautiful and outstanding single ladies that cluster around you. I am taken. Good night. Oh, oh, and please, don't call my number again. Um, um, hello? Uh, Where are that told you? Hmm? I will get you. I will get you to the right spot I would want you to be. Nongya. Hmm? Where the propellum? Nongya. Nongya. Rubbish. Hmm. How are you coping with your business with all this? Ah, uh, the business is fine. You know I have capable hands, so even in my absence, um, the boys are doing well. I get reports every now and then, and I can tell you that we're staying afloat, we're fine. I heard Silas has been sharing money everywhere. He even went to the market and shared money to the people. So I heard, I was told, 
it has money to throw around, so let him waste it. You know, the kind of confidence you exude in the midst of all this marvels me. Ah. And Uluwe, this really is a challenge on the gods and ancestors of Umungana. I went to two secret places and I prayed. I prayed and I prayed with faith. So if they choose to lose out on this, then it will be their loss and not mine. Odogu <laughs> okay. <laughs> Indeed, the gods have blessed you. I like to see men talk like men. <laughs> Let me call Obidike. We need a fresh pan wine to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but you just called me the blessed one. I am the prince of Umunga. I am in your house. I like nothing. Eh? You want pan wine? Eh? I will make a call. Eh? Uh -huh. And a gallon shall be brought um, here right away. Relax here. <laughs> 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 One name. <laughs> Silas Ilo, the owner of Umungene Kingdom. Hmm. Wow, woo. Mm. Wow. Honestly, I was so surprised when I was told you were here just to see me. The beautiful one. Why would you be surprised? Huh? I've looked around this kingdom and you are the frontline beauty we have in this land. Someone like me. Owa Umungene, Owa Napoland, Woke Were Nukunvi, should be friends with someone like you. <laughs> Honestly, I do not have a problem with that. Because I know full well that you always visit the palace when my father was alive. Oh, yes. But, um, you're wearing this beautiful then. You've grown into a beautiful queen. And I feel it's time you become one real time. Why do I have this feeling that you're speaking in riddles? I'm here just as my heart leads me. I'm here to seek the woman that has been giving me sleepless nights. The one my heart yearns for. And... Who is this woman, if I may ask? She's right here with me. Princess Asanze, the beauty of Umungene Kingdom. But you have always had your eyes on my brother's fiance. That was a mystic. And it is in the past now. My love, just give us a chance and I will make you my queen. Huh. Honestly, I am so confused. I don't even know what to say. You do not need to say much. Just say yes and I will bring heaven down to you on earth here.
You sent for me? Yes. The gate man whispered to me on my way back that Silas Hilo was here. Is that true? Do you have a problem with that? He was my guest. How can that man be your guest, Asanze? What does he want here? Well, he came to discuss something very personal with me, which I wouldn't want to share with you now. You would not want to share with me? Asanze, I'm your brother. You now have secret meetings with an enemy of the throne and you choose to keep it from your brother. An enemy you say? That you have decided to make everyone your enemy doesn't necessarily mean that he is your enemy. So why do you refer to him as one? Well, he is my friend. My very good friend. He is not an enemy and will never be. Excuse me. My love. Please make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and please, um, before you instruct them to prepare something for us, just know that we are okay. Because I know you. <laughs> we are okay. I'm actually here for business. Business? Oh, yes. What sort of business is it? Okay, um, here is Mr. James Benjamin, my account officer. Mr. Benjamin, this is Princess Asanze, mm -hmm. my wife-to-be. The very one I told you that I want to make a co signatory to my account. Excuse me? Huh, I'm sorry I didn't hear that part. Can you repeat yourself? I need the signature card, ma. Can you just fill the required columns and I will do the rest. Wow, whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Baby, you're so sweet. <laughs> 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 and you are the real deal. Mm. Mm. Do not worry yourself. I've instructed my bankers in Poland to transfer all my Poland zoo to Nigeria. Oh we'll be managing them. Mm? We got to know if any year ago. Thank you, wife already. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Uh, ah. mm. Kurt, if you need any additional information, you call me. It's fine, but I, I don't mind. I, w I want to feel it right now. Okay. If you don't mind. Uh, that would be great. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am with him. <laughs> Are you joking? Why would I be pulling your legs? This is, how it's, it's what is going to happen. Omar is getting married to the princess. Why would she agree to marry him? We're not the one that gave him space. If you had accepted this proposal, you wouldn't have gone to marry the princess. Oh, stop making it sound like I'm regretting anything, because I'm not. I I'm only just feeling pity in my spirit for the princess. I mean, it shows how classless she is. Why would she agree to marry a fraud star? Well, you're just the only one saying that. Oma is a money bag, and he knows how to spend the money. Yeah, I mean, he offered me a Range Rover Sports last week. Are you serious? And you turned that down? Mm-hmm. Now I see why he left you for the princess. Belinda, you're just so impossible. Well, I know what I want in a man. And the prince, he has it all. Really? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Benjamin. Are you back in the office? 
Okay. Please, I would love to make an inquiry from you. I don't want you to feel bad or feel that I'm very inquisitive. You know, now that I am a signatory to that account, I want to know everything about it. Okay, thank you very much, sir. I would want to know the real balance of that account. One point five billion naira. <sighs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you so very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Wow, woo. This guy is actually more loaded than I thought. I'm so excited that he is finally mine. Hmm. I humble myself before the princess. I am going to be very direct with this instruction. I do not ever want to see Martins in this compound again. I believe you know who bears that name. Is it not your husband to be my princess? What happened, my princess? Ezazu, you are a big fool. I just gave you an instruction and you're asking me a stupid question. What I'm is sorry. wrong with you? I'm sorry, my princess. No, allow him one more time into this palace and you will be fired. Rubbish. Let it not be what I'm thinking of. Oma will always cause confusion wherever he goes. Wow. <laughs> this is magical. Mm. About the best thing I've heard all my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did you do it, Oma? <laughs> hmm? I made her understand that she belongs here oh yes i exposed her to money and she is one of the happiest women on earth now <laughs> i'll i'll get married to her this weekend and we'll get down with the coronation <laughs> by this feat of winning the princess you have put the last nail on the coffin of the prince <laughs> She has not even told him that we are getting married. And I'm sure he will die of shock when he finds out. That will even be better. He is full of negative energy. We don't need such a man in this kingdom right now. Mm. I invited you to brief you. I want you to start the arrangement. Ike Dinibo may refuse marrying her off to me, so I want us to find a way to do it without him. That is not a problem at all. We are the owners of this land. I mean, we can maneuver anything and anyone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My princess, I'm so happy for you. Getting married to a man like that is a plot for any woman. Thank you so much. I pity poor Martins. Why do you have to pity him? He can easily get himself another woman to marry. Must it be me? What sort of insult is this? Um, I don't understand. What do you mean insult? This is Martins. Your fiance, the one that I know. You know, I saw him standing outside. And he also told me that he's been calling you and you have refused to take his calls. And then Ezazu told me that he was instructed by you not to let him into the premises. I wonder what, what is going on. So Ezazu 
actually executed my instruction and you still brought yourself in here? What exactly do you want here? I don't get this, princess. Wait. Did you actually leave an instruction not to let me in? What did I do? Oh my God. What part of I am not disposed to see you, don't you understand? Are you okay? Um, Asanze. Are you fine? Is your madam okay? Ike Dinibo, please stay out of this. And you? Are you dumb? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Don't you know when a woman has interest in you and when the interest has evaporated? I haven't picked your call in days. Didn't that tell you anything? Well, if you're done with Ike Dinibo, your host, you might as well take yourself out of this palace. What's going on here? Uh, were the both of you having issues? No. Are you sure? Not at all. I guess something is wrong somewhere. You know what? Calm down. Okay, I'll have to talk to her. Let me know what it is, okay? And I'll call you. Yeah? Thank you very much. Take it easy. I will appreciate that. You can go. I'll call you. I appreciate it. Excuse me. I already know you like the back of my palm. I knew you would follow me up here just to ask me why I did what I did. Exactly. Because it baffles me. Why you have suddenly turned hostile to Martins. The same Martins. That I have seen you here in this palace countless times making out. Mm -mm. What happened? You can name please. Do not toe that line at all. I have something important to tell you. What is it? I do not want you to read meanings into what I'm about to say. Go ahead. I am in love with Silas Ilo, the owner of Omongene, and we are getting married. You are not serious, I. I am dead serious. I am only telling you for you to know. Not for your opinion though, for I already know what's in your mind. The same man who wants your brother dead is the same man you want to get married to? Take Nibo, two of you are in two different political camps. It has nothing to do with me. I am not discussing politics here. I am discussing love. And I believe so well that a man like you who has traveled far and wide should know the difference. Asansi! You need prayers. You need prayers to rediscover yourself for your getting ruined. You need prayers. I'm not asking for your consent. I'm only telling you this for you to know. For information's sake, that's all. Because I know you would, you would never support me. But it's not my business. It is my life. And I will live it however I so please. Hey, girlfriend. The truth is that I have really missed you. How is work? Work is really stressful and I miss you more. But you know I'm on leave. So I have to rush down home to get all the rest I can get. Okay, that's really nice. And who is that person calling your phone all day? Hmm. Isn't it Martins? He's so dumb. My princess, I think you should take things easy. Martins is a nice guy. But that Silas of a guy is a froster. Hmm. 
he has no legitimate business in the city. So how come he's in so money? How come he's in so much money? Oh, forget about that. Well, someday, somehow, I know he will be exposed and be disgraced. He will not be disgraced. Well, don't be surprised when that happens. It will not happen. Okay. And please, stop intruding in my privacy. This man we are talking about is my man. And very soon, he will be crowned king. And everything will be normal again. I am surprised. I am surprised you could abandon a man like Martins and say so for a man like Silas Ilo. Oh, please stop it. Stop calling him Silas Ilo as if it's a nobody. For crying out loud, this man we are talking about here is the Omwa of Omungene. Please accord him some respect. I don't like it. See, lover, forgive me. You are looking good. That's your business. Please, did you bring what I asked you to bring for me? I see this entirely from a different angle. No, there's just one angle to this. Silas Ilo is taking my silence for cowardice. He thinks that I am stupid. And I'm going to make him pay. This is a crucial time. We must apply wisdom. Whatever you do right now will amount to descending to his useless level. You once lifted my spirit when you said that you have decided to leave everything to the cause. My friend, I want us to maintain that standpoint. But that fraud star is asking for trouble, Undulue. He's coming after my family. First, he goes after Belinda, he fails. And now, Asanze, why? Why? Why is he constantly coming for people close to me? Why? Kedinibu, there is a reason for everything. Huh. When the girls decide to keep silent, fools begin to think they are asleep. Listen, my dear, I have gone ahead with this. If you need further explanation, you get it when you return. For now, allow me to enjoy my life, please. Ascendance. What happened to us? What happened to the love that we shared as siblings? I have always been there for you. I have loved you unreservedly from the moment we were this young to this point. I have watched your back. Every decision you have taken, I have stood behind you and given you full support. What is going on? Why are we falling apart? You know that I love you, Asanze. You know that I love you with every fiber in me. You are the only sister that I have in this world. What worries me is not the fact that you have chosen to ridicule this palace. By making it known to everyone that you are going to marry a man who has declared me his number one enemy. You know, Mungane. What worries me is the fact that I know you are going to regret that decision that you have taken. Well, you don't have to worry yourself about that. Because I will not regret anything. Yes, I won't. You may never understand what he has done for me already. He has made me a co-signatory to his account. Yeah. What does that tell you? I am getting married to a man 
who wants me to be part of his life. Asanze, you're a princess. Is this about money? You shouldn't be. Look around you. You're born into royalty. Is money the issue here? I don't think so. Look around you. You don't lack anything. Why do you want to do this to yourself? I am not doing anything to myself. And please, Ikedinimo, stop preaching to me. Because it will never change my mind. I have made up my mind already, and it stands. Asanze, you are the princess of Omungene Kingdom. And I am the crowned prince. I am going to be crowned king of Omungene in the shortest possible time. Can you not see that I am talking to you as a king? Well, I'm so sorry to disappoint you, my darling brother. You have lost that right long time ago because of your fetish and stupid interest. Now I need you to know that my husband will be crowned king and me, the queen, So you are going to be so irrelevant in this kingdom and you will blame yourself for that. Asandinze, why? Why are you not thinking like a princess? Why? Your father must have been a seer to have named you Asandinze. <laughs> and why did you say so? He saw tomorrow. Even when you were still a child, he saw how you would have looked when you grew up. <laughs> Asanze, the beauty for the high and mighty. And finally, I ended up in your arms. As my queen, and I promise to love you forever. And I will love you too, my darling. Oma, <laughs> <laughs> mm? good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Mm. Where are you heading to? I want to hang out on board. Oh. <laughs> Just be safe. Oh, okay. I will, I will. Go. All right. I guess he's one of your boys that helps you do business. Oh, yes. His name is Edmond. Oh. He's an expert in online stroke trading. Oh, yes. Oh, that's impressive. You're welcome to my home. <laughs> this place had always been your home. It just took us time to find out. So now that we are finally together, we are going to make up for the times we stayed apart. By whatever standard, are you better than the princess we finally married? Eh? Tell me! Look at the special man that came for you, and you insisted on a nobody. With all due respect, Father, Ike Dinigbo is not a nobody. He is everything Silas Ilo would never ever be. And I'd really appreciate it if you stop making my man a subject of discussion. Eh? Have you seen a classless thing you refer to as a daughter? Have you seen her talking back at me? Nani, please, we need to stop overflogging this issue. She said she is not interested. And is she in any way close to the woman he married? I will not say anything now until that man leaves you and run away from this town. Why would he run away from this kingdom? Because he has already lost the sister to the man of the moment. And in a couple of days, he will equally lose his throne. But when that finally happens, do you think that young man will stay back here in this kingdom? He will forget this fool and run away from this town. And that will be the time. I will tell you why they call me Ilopo TV, Abura Musu. I'm more here. No, I'm because we're here. Hey, Silas Ilo has managed to turn all the men in this kingdom into greedy men. I'm surprised that my own father allowed himself to be caught up in this web. Hmm. You know, Wanya, he is right. Your father is right somehow. 
I'm telling you. What if what he just said happens? What if finally Silas Ilo becomes the king of this kingdom? Martha, we've settled this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. If he does not get the throne eventually, we will continue to live our normal lives and forget everything about royalty. And you are comfortable with that? We love each other. As woman and her man. If he gets the throne, fine. If he doesn't come, equally fine. Where will you use the bar? Where go? Once again, I have come before you with the prince. I am here with him because he is very bothered. But why will he be bothered? Obwevi, he is bothered because it appears as if the politicians are winning this war. So I want you to look at him one more time and assure him that the gods of Umugene Kingdom will never ever abandon whatever they started. My name is Okun. That is the plain truth. Um, Obwefi. That is exactly how I feel. I am perturbed. In spite of my very strong resistance, my sister Asanze has gone ahead to marry Silas Ilo, purportedly in line with the marital laws of Umungene. Not only that, Obuefi, I also gathered that somehow they have been able to get a crown with which they are going to crown him king in the next three days. It worries me. My prince, I'm not sure going to be friend, I and that will be the day, the very day the gods will decide to rudely remind them that they are mere politicians. Look all day. Listen. You are on the right track. And there is no human being, no person in the whole of this kingdom of Umunge that will rule this kingdom without Ofonkume. Ofonkume? The very often I removed from the palace the day your father joined his ancestors. It is here with me. Don't worry. Allow your sister Asanze to go about fooling herself, beating about the bush, displaying her, displaying her ignorance. Exploring vanity. Finally, reality will hit her. Is that not exactly what I told you? That you have no reason to be bothered. No, 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 no. You have to leave politicians to play their politics. Apart from taking you to Aja and Yuku and the Bimba to pray, I have gone back there on my own to pray one more time to the ancestors of Omungana Kingdom. I reminded them that this is war and that they must not allow politicians to win this war. Because if it happens, that politicians are recorded to have won. That will be the end of our tradition in this kingdom. I, I want us to leave it just like that. Thank you, boy. I have made up my mind. It's for the move Food. Take your useless food out of my sight. I said, take your useless food out of my sight. And stop making efforts to please me because you are a disobedient child. Are we still on this matter, Father? Your so-called Omar has gotten married and will be crowned king tomorrow. It has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with me because that same man that will become king tomorrow will not be my son-in-law. But now what happened? The useless girl I call my daughter decided to stick to a loser. You are now bringing food. 
Take your useless phone out of this place and stop showing your face. If not, I will get you injured. Nonsense. So, Father, you will starve yourself because your daughter wisely refused to marry a fraudster. There's God in everything that we do. Let's remember that. If truly you know God, do you know Ten Commandment? Do you know what he said? He said, children, obey your parents. And now you are telling me God. Anytime you talk about God in this house, you will know why they call me Lopotefe. Obola Mosu. I'm not here. It will just only call me and see. Idiot. I am equally surprised that even the leadership of the youth have equally decided to leave everything to the ghost. You know that I also hear that Silas you know, offered the youth the sum of five million now to attend his coronation as king and they turned him down. You know, when that happened, tears left my eyes. It spoke to me in different ways. It made me understand that the gods are really moving. And that is the only explanation that anyone can give. That the youth of Umungene unanimously rejected a whopping sum of five million naira. Surprising. And elected to stand for the truth. That is only possible with the gods. You know, I've been thinking to myself that if the gods fail me and allow Silas to be crowned king of Umungene, I'll pack my things, take my woman with me, count my losses and relocate abroad. And what is going to happen to your large aluminum company? Oh, I have um, found a lot of trust in a way if you see where I go. Uh, he's a noble man. He'll make a very good manager. And did you know that he runs an aluminum company somewhere in Sapling? Oh yes, he does. So I trust him to take care of business. Okay. So have you discussed with him and he agreed? Not yet. I'm still watching the gods. food anymore. And that only means one thing. He doesn't want me in the houses again. Why? Don't worry about it. I'm going to leave for my my uncle's place, my dad's brother. That one that stays in Abagana. I have a taxi waiting for me with my stuff. Don't go. Please, don't go. You know I'll miss you. Please, don't go. Stay. Okay, you know what? I mean, this is all sudden. Okay, for me, give me one day. Let me shop for you. Let me, let me get you ready for this journey. I, I, I will take you myself so that you're crying. Stop, stop. I'll be fine. I won't be fine without you. Stop crying. Stop crying. Eh? Hey, I'll call you. I love you. I feel you should have allowed that to stay. Why allow her to travel all the way to her uncle's place at Abagana when she can comfortably stay here? Ndulue. You know, statements like this remind me that you know nothing about royalty. How can you ask that I let her stay here when I'm not married to her? 
this anomaly that you preach is part of what I stand against in Omonkana. Know, but your sister has been bringing Martins to the palace. And how beautiful has her life become? Let's drop this topic in the way and focus on positives. Belinda, listen to me. I am your uncle. My home is your home. Forget about what happened and move on. Thank you, Uncle. You don't need to thank me. Do not take hard on yourself. And do not blame your father for what he did. He will not disown you. Never. Sometimes we parents feel our choices for our children are always the best. But I told him, Uncle. I told him that I would know no happiness if I married Silas. And he made it clear that he doesn't care about my happiness. Can you believe he stopped eating my food? My father threatened to destroy my face if he sees me again. I had to follow my heart. Now listen, I have never told you this before. My mother died a year before you were born. And I told my sister that my mother came back in you. She laughed. But seeing what you just did, standing on your conviction, I now confirm what I told my sister some time ago. Relax. Feel at home. If you don't like the room I gave you, I'll give you another one. Everywhere. It's yours. Thank you. Welcome, my dear. Thank Welcome. You. Thank stand you. up, stand up. Easy. Stand up. It's okay. It's Thank okay. Blinda's supposed to be back by now. Back to where? Eh? Hey, calm down. You're taking this too far. Don't land our daughter in trouble. Though. That is what she deserves for being stubborn. Thank God she's not the only child. Our elder brother is doing well with his family in Oka. He never disobeyed me for once. Her mm. line is not going through. Eh? At least we're supposed to know her whereabouts. Well, if that will make you feel better, she is with your brother Nelson. He called to inform me. Oh, thank God. She has really made me happy by not running off to be with the prince. Do I call her? Oh. Can you go in and get me something to eat? Sure. My prince. Yes. I understand perfectly where you are coming from and your position on this matter. And believe me, the youth also understand it that way. There is one thing I want you to do for me. You see, this morning we'll be having our meeting. Please, I want you to come around and address the youth by yourself. So that Nzobiora and his co travelers will feel that I am pained by the things that they do. Silence, Ibezim. Silence is golden and I have chosen to remain silent and let the gods speak. My prince, 
I don't want to have anything against your decision. If this is the way you want it, then let it be. I was told that Silas mm -hmm. gave the youth um, <laughs> a whooping sum of five million naira. You turned it down, is that true? Not only that, my prince. Do you know, he also promised to give us three. One, two, three bosses. According to him, so that we can function well when the international market kicks off. And we told him we are not interested. Do you know what? <laughs> I think he's still battling with that shock. <laughs> Who wouldn't be shocked? I was when I heard of it. He goes to show that um, you guys know what you're doing. You know, I was surprised too. Because it was as if we had a meeting before then to take such decisions. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we, we never met. He was still speaking when the whole youth, with one voice, told him to leave with his five million naira and even forget about the bosses. Do you know? Do you know? We even told him that, okay, if eventually the gods decide to make him king and even the one to be in charge of the international market, then at that point, uh, we will now understand that that's the decision of the gods who will now come and discuss with him. You all have done well. You all have done well, eh? Um, I would like to give the youth the sum of one million now, just to make merry. Just so that you all know that you're not working with any great. No, oh, now, nah, my priest. You don't need to disturb yourself so much. What for now? Eh? now. Yeah, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be a big I'm not going to be a big one. I'm not going to be a big one. So you did in the car, no? Let me make the cash available to you. Ikedi bo mo koma. Ikedi bo mo koma is a boy who no go. This is the kind of person we need to work with. No, but other than that, job your job is not I think I'm happy with this man. <sighs> Morning. No, don't worry, my daughter. I'm almost done. Mama, why did you want sweep him? Where is Belinda? Uh, uh, she traveled to Abagana to see my brother. And she didn't tell us. Uh, it, it wasn't planned, but everything is all right, though. So what do you want? Okay, Mama. Her number has not been connecting. Sadly. Please, when she comes back, tell her we are here to see her. Okay, I will. Maybe it's battery issue, but I will tell her. She will soon be back, though. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye -bye, oh, my regards to your mother, though. Oh, mama, mama. Mama, mama. Mama, please. In my capacity as the current head of administration in the Mungene Kingdom, with written and signed approval of all the men in leadership positions in Mungene, having fulfilled all the requirements in our constitution as amended, I hereby crown you His Royal Majesty Eze. Omenka for Onanya one of Umungene Kingdom. Your glorious reign commences now. Twenty Omenka for Onanya. Twenty Omenka for Onanya. Two Kwasinia Omenka for Onanya. Each of us got a chat on the bike. Yeah. Chat a chat on the bike. Yeah. 
Thank you so much, my elders. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel honored to be found worthy and fit for this crown. Omenka folonaya gemepuyozo unafuya. And and to my beautiful, <laughs> outstanding, alluring, and shining queen of Umungere Kingdom. <laughs> you are such a blessed woman. From a princess to a queen. queen. <laughs> what else could you have asked for? Me nothing. Me absolutely nothing, my husband. <laughs> beautiful one. I will make you the happiest woman on earth. Mm. Henceforth, you will swim in the ocean of wealth and happiness. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, my king. Mm, please sit. Thank you, my husband. Hmm. 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 Hey. Oh, oh, hey, this again, this again. This again, this again. Hey. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, mm, mm. Yeah. We, we have to look. What is that? I Hey! Holy Mary Mother of God. Uh, Father, look at him. We have already crowned him. Then he collapsed on his throne. Father, the evil forces are at work. They are at work, please. They, they will not support. succeed. Amen! For our Lord Jesus Christ has made the public show of the devil. Amen. Amen. patri et fili et spiritus sanctus. Amen. Amen. I command you, evil spirit occupying this body, to leave in the name of Jesus. For you have no place here. Amen. 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 Father, what is that this issue? I don't think this is a spiritual issue. <laughs> you should have called in a doctor. What is wrong with my husband? Please. He's dead. So find rest in the hey. bosom of the Lord. Oh, ah. oh, oh, oh. It's okay, it's okay. Father, father, father. Father. Okay, boy. Hey. Hey. We don't have to stand like this. Hey. At least we need to dismiss the people before another calamity happens. Hey. Yes, I've done that already. I've also asked some women to consult the princess. Hey. Yes. A king. Dying on the day of his coronation and on his throne. I have never seen a thing like this before. Mm. Abomination. Odigo, who could have done this? Who else is after us and the poison the mind of the prince? It is Obu Efisi Wepa. He threatened me last week. Is a chi joke? You will go with me. And for the rest, you take care of the remains. We'll discuss on the barrier when we come back. We can tell one. Where is you? That is the man. That is the wizard. You have to teach him the lesson of his life. Yes. See him. What? Are these the people you called us to come and beat up? Or will we see we and the crown prince of our land? Oh, don't shut up, you head of vigilante. We are the people who pay you every month and you must carry out our instructions. Yes. Beat them up. Excuse me, sir. 
You pay us every month, does not mean we should start moving around and start beating people that have done nothing wrong. Okay, let me tell you. He's a, a wizard. He's a wizard. He's an evil man who has links with all the occults on earth. It's from here that he sent the evil forces that killed Onwa of Umungene Kingdom after we crowned the king. He has to pay for his evil. Yes. He has to pay. Pay. Look at him. Please, we're innocent, sir. Please, don't, don't, don't kill us. We have no idea about this, sir. We, they just came and called us. Please, don't kill us. Don't kill us. Get us my compound. Thank you, sir. Get up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Could this be what I'm thinking? The gods. The gods are not asleep. <laughs> Thank God you'll save my husband. Three deaths in just a day? <sighs> Something is wrong somewhere and I am very scared. Who could be behind this? Is it the prince? It can't be the prince. He is not that fast. All fingers are pointing at the evil man. Nani, from what is going on in Umugene right now, I do not think that Obwefisi Wepuaro is the evil one. How do you mean? If the confirmed wizard is not the evil man, then who is the one? Is it you? Huh? Really big in Dolue. Oh. Bigger than mm -hmm. I expected. You do not need to murmur it. It is indeed very big. Three deaths in one day. I mean, there is no way anyone can describe that if not tragic. As the days go by, I'm beginning to understand even more the power of the truth. But I feel you should have gone to see the chief priest instead of coming back home. Oh, boy, if you asked me to go back home, oh. I will handle it. Oh, Mary, go. Hmm. What do you draw one on? Without mixing words, we should be thinking of how to move forward. Mary, you got one. I can't believe that in Zobiora and in Zetidioke are no more. Gone like that. Zokeke, we have already buried the dead. This is no longer time to lament. We must move on. That's why we are here. Nzeake Kuchawa, you are the one that convened this meeting. So we are going to allow you to define how we are going to proceed. Exactly. It is obvious that the gods have a hand in what happened. Exactly what my spirit is telling me. But I wanted it to come from you. They were killed by the gods. 
So we have to be very careful going forward. We cannot just conclude that they will, we are killed by the gods. So it is not a conclusion that we can reach without a proper guide. So who is going to give us a guide? The same way from we use a bar that will conclude in council here never to consult again. But the question is, how do we do that? How? Okay, okay. the meaning of what you just said? The rubbish they said is that the gods killed my father. And therefore, he will be forgotten now that he has been buried. We are not even permitted to mourn him. Deep down in my heart, I nursed this pain. Because you were the one that killed my father. What is what exactly is going on? Are you trying to tell me that Silas, the owner of Omongene, was your father? Yes. Oman was my father. You married him because of his wealth. Am I lying? Listen, woman, you're such a loser. I am in charge of his business and the co-signatory to all his accounts. As his nest of king, I will make sure you leave this house with nothing. What am I dreaming? What is happening? That Silas is your father and you are his nest of kin? He never told me that. Well, I don't know what he told you. Omar was my father and all this why he worked with the elders to become king. I was the one in charge of his businesses. Silas, how could you do this to me? That means he lied to me. He never told me the truth. I don't have an answer to that. But I will give you a condition. A condition? Yes. What condition? Okay. Listen. You have not mourned your husband because you are not permitted to. Hmm? So technically, you are not a widow. I will make you the mother of my children. Yes. What? Have you gone mad? Can you hear yourself speak? You, my late husband's son, wants to make me his wife. What sort of abomination do you want to commit? Listen. We are men that make money the hard way. Whatsoever you call abomination has nothing where we are. Whatsoever that belonged to my father now belongs to me. I will make you the mother of my unborn children. That is the only way you can remain here. But if you refuse, you are free to go. You have to leave before you see the other side of the son of the mafia. I'm doomed. I am doomed. Silas, 
What did I ever do to you to deserve this? <gasps> Hello. Hello, Mr. Benjamin. Please, I need a vital information from you. Because everything is crashing before my very own eyes. I'm sorry about what happened. Please accept my condolences. I also need you to make inquiries about the account. I'm sorry, madam. But you can no longer make inquiries on the account. You are no longer a signatory to the account. What are you saying? You gave me the form and I filled it. What are you saying? Yeah, but then your late husband came to the bank later and changed it back to what it used to be. Edmund Ilo, his son, is the beneficiary of the account. If you need to know anything about the account, get him to make the call. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my. I am finished. Silas. So all you did was for me to say yes? Oh. <laughs> what have I landed myself? What have I done? I have already given her a condition that will guarantee her stay. If she agrees, then we are fine. And what condition did you give her? That she will be my wife. Yes. She will be the mother of my unborn children. If she refuses, she leaves. Edmond, do you actually realize that Princess Asanze is older than you, sir? And you think I cannot marry her? Makutu, give me a break. Age is just bought a number. Makutu. My father made an excellent choice in her, and I am ready. I mean, I am prepared to love her genuinely. Edmond, you better start in time to forget about that ambition of yours. Asanze can never agree to offer herself to you. Besides, it is even an abomination. Ha -ha. Then tell her. Tell her to be prepared. She will go. Your father dealt the gods and the ancestors and he paid heavily for it. He paid the ultimate price. Do not make the same mistake. Hmm? And what has the gods and the ancestors got to do with my desire to marry a beautiful woman? Makutu, have you been looking at that babe? Have you seen her shape? The figure? The book? Makutu, that babe is Outstandingly beautiful. Shut up. All I know is that you have been lost in after your late father's wife. Even while he was alive. You are sick. How dare you? Get away from me now before it consumes you. Makito, do you know what? You are fired. How dare you talk to me like that? Edmond, you cannot fire me. For I already made up my mind to leave. Working with your father was a mistake, and staying with you would be a disaster. You were so lucky that I did not come down with my gun. I would have blasted your head open right now. Right now. Edmond, you cannot kill me. I need to remind you, or rather advise you, not to come for me. Because if you try it, I mean if you dare, I'm going to turn you off. You're welcome. Mm? <laughs> mm. Oh, God, visitor. Oh, this is your glass, eh? I'll take mine with this. Can I go to my God? The quaker. You can have your drink, eh? Thank you. You visited. Uh, um, your friend, 
the prodigal princess is back in the palace. Uh, are you aware? Yes, I am. I was with her yesterday at the palace and she was lamenting so bitterly. I mean, why is she lamenting now? When she knows she is the core architect of her misfortunes, listen, she shouldn't be allowed to hold anyone responsible. How do you mean? I mean, she was married to Onwa. Excuse me, what are you talking about? Which marriage? <laughs> she wasn't married to anyone. The so-called marriage to Sela Silo was a mere aberration. An aberration? What a very strong word to use. Vivian, let me ask you one question or two. Okay. To whom was her bright price paid? To the elders who destroyed this land. Who gave her out in marriage? The same evil elders. You see, my happiness is that finally we saw how they ended up. You see, your friend, the princess, she needs to thank her stars. Us, she would have died in the process. You are sounding as if the youth executive had already discussed it in a meeting. We have not. We are only trying to console a sister. When you better what they been on make obi, you know. We cannot share in her pains. She was never married. That is an obvious fact. And her prayer now should be let the right man come for her, whom she can call her own. Don't, don't forget she's beautiful. She is. Take your drink, please. Obuevi. Hmm? I, I am thinking that we should go ahead with our original plan of crowning Ikednebo the king. Ibezim, this land is terribly desecrated. So, and uh, I am waiting for things to be put on proper perspective. Things okay. like the breeze of deceit and evil that filtered in into this kingdom. And you're waiting for that breeze to travel very far from here before we can think of anything. But my, my concern is, when will this time be? Listen, the men, all the men who perpetuated the sacrilege, all of them must present themselves for spiritual cleansing. It must happen before we can think of any coronation. Hmm? I see. I see. Uh, that reminds me. Someone told me he saw you taking cows to Ajanugu and Obimbako. Exactly. You have a problem with that? I'm just asking them. Those are cows. Cows we promised to the ancestors. We pleaded with them that if they will allow what was stolen from us to be restored, that we are going to give them cows. And that's exactly what they did for us and that's why we took the cows to the, 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 the deities that you just identified. Okay. The ceremony will start by 2 p.m. today and everyone is invited. I know you can. Today? Go and tell other people. Ah. Let them gather that place so we can, we can celebrate. Ah! <laughs> Thanks to the gods. So. Yeah, I know you are. Thanks to the gods. Yeah. My prince, I am really happy for you. Thank you. You know, Obimbako and Dajan Yoku yesterday were filled with people. People who were genuinely happy. You could see Omungene come to life again. The youth came out in mass. I was shocked. They were there dancing merry. You know, we had three cows. And the you missed. <laughs> You missed. You should have been there. Eh? You should have been there. You missed. Mm -hmm. You missed. But however, it turned out well. Eh? It turned out well. Good to know. Good to know. It turned out well. You have really won the battle. Thank you. <laughs> you can see how all your enemies are all perishing. Ah. 
You know that um, what is happening right now to these men were not my original intention. My, my, my hope was that, you know, we can all be alive and witness a new Omunga. These men brought this upon themselves. That's just the truth. And everyone is aware of that. And based on what has happened, mm. you will equally need to hold the big ceremony here in the palace. <laughs> and I, Dulwe, will be donating one million naira to that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ndulwe. Ndulwe, thank you very much. As for another ceremony, we'll have to hold off on that for now. Um, and watch all unfolding events get to the climax. Um, before we can reconverge again and celebrate. But at that point, I'd like to have the love of my life, Belinda. <laughs> <Aside>. <laughs> Belinda. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers. You are the great man of my kingdom, and that is why I always come to you. of my kingdom, and that is why I always come to you. I have discussed extensively with the prince and I am in a position to confirm to you that he is not happy with the debts. And no one is happy with the debts. Because those men went too far in their determination to prove that the gods are dead. And the gods are not dead. Of course I know. I know. So the gods decided to prove themselves by themselves. That is it. So there is no other option than uh, I have to tell you. Go to the prince, tell him to uh, take things easy. Let him not get angry at all. So, you know, I believe as the eye of the gods, you know more than us. So you should be able to tell me what is the way forward. The way forward is that the men have not actually made up their mind to come to me. At least for purification and cleansing. Rather, they are, they are planning for that. No onslaught, wanting to continue in their evil way, in their mistakes. And that is why the gods are watching them. The gods decided to keep quiet and watch. And my very self at my position, I, I am equally sitting, watching them from afar. Okay, as you are watching them from afar, are you confirming to me that you can then go ahead and start planning for the coronation? I have not confirmed such and I will never, never confirm such. At all. Not because there is no peace in the air at the moment. There must be peace first and foremost before any king will emerge and survive it. Because the emergence of a new king definitely will bring down the peace. Yes. So, those men, instead of having a rethink, are continuing in undermining the gods, undermining the activities of the gods. Yeah. So, I, I, I just have to tell you this. From my angle, we have to sacrifice more days. We need to wait for more days, possibly weeks. Or maybe, as it pleases the gods. Um, I don't understand. What do you mean insult? This is Martins. Your fiance, the one that I know. You know, I saw him standing outside. And he also told me that he's been calling you and you have refused to take his calls. 
And then Ezaz told me that he was instructed by you not to let him into the premises. I wonder what, what is going on. So Ezaz actually executed my instruction and you still brought yourself in here? What exactly do you want here? I don't get this, princess. Wait. Did you actually leave an instruction not to let me in? What did I do? Oh my God. What part of I am not disposed to see you, don't you understand? Are you okay? Um, Asanze. Are you fine? Is your madam okay? Ike Dinibo, please stay out of this. And you? Are you dumb? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Don't you know when a woman has interest in you and when the interest has evaporated? I haven't picked your call in days. Didn't that tell you anything? Well, if you're done with Ike Dinibo, your host, you might as well take yourself out of this palace. What's going on here? You did absolutely nothing wrong to me. I was just being a fool. Greetings, my princess. What is it? One Edmond that introduced himself as the son of your late husband is outside. He said he wants to see you. He's outside now? Yes, my princess. All right, bring him in. Thank you, my princess. I know that you'll be wondering what I came here to do. I will advise you go straight to the point. I don't have all day. Okay. I will start by saying I am sorry. You're sorry? For what exactly? For the request. It's dawned on me that I should not have made that request. A lot of things are going wrong in my business front. I made an inquiry and they said that your father is angry with my family and that he would destroy everything, everything we have if I don't make this move. How possible is that? I mean, what, where exactly are you driving at? My father died last year and he has been buried. So what are you saying? Your father was a king. He still has his eyes on his family. I want to pay for damage. Yes. I want to pay for the pain and frustration my father caused you. They say that you must forgive my family before your father will lose the spiritual grip he placed on my family. And what makes you think my forgiveness will be based on what you can pay? Uh, not in actually. I just felt I should not approach without a tangible offer. Princess. No, 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 no. You don't have to kneel. You don't have to. Edmund, listen. I do not have anything against you. As a matter of fact, I have forgiven you. You don't have to pay anything. I have moved on with my life. And I will advise you to do the same. Thank you. Ezazu will see you out when you're ready to leave. Okay. Excuse okay. me. Okay. Thank you. What a beautiful woman my father got for himself. She is not as greedy as I thought. I have been waiting for you to say something about our daughter and you're not doing anything. What do you want me to say? With all that has happened, don't you think it's time for you to go and bring our daughter back home? Eh? She's still a daughter of Umung in a kingdom and attached to this family. See, now, in all honesty, you are treating that girl with so much contempt, and I, I, I don't like it, though. Let me be sincere with you. I have been thinking about this all this while. But 
I lack the face to open the discussion. If not that she stood her ground, my daughter would have been a widow by now. May God forbid. That is what we will always say. But you agree with me that I was more of a beast. I did not consider all that she was saying. Thank God she resisted me to the last. It's not your fault. It's not anybody's fault. Eh? Because of what was going on then, we all thought that Silas was the best for her. Now we know better. You, you need to go and bring her back. She's still our daughter. I want our family to come back the way it used to be. I need my daughter back home. I need my daughter It's okay. This one you are in house. This hmm. uh, It don't need to ask if there is problem because obviously there is. I'm on my way to Nzake Kuchonwa's house. Hmm. Uh, we need to find a solution to our problem. Listen, I had a terrible dream last night. I can't explain it. Nothing is working at all. Same here, my brother. Eh? Same here. I don't understand either. We don't need to waste time. Let's go. Let's go and meet I was thinking of calling a meeting. But I'm glad we all got out on our own. Zake Uchoma. A man whose house is on fire does not go after rats. Listen, something is wrong somewhere. And we cannot continue to pretend as if nothing is wrong. Zokeke, we all need to understand that we are all in this problem together. You all, you, you know my my son, Chigozi, the one with his senior brother and boy, helping him with his business. Uh, yes, we know him. What about him? Chigozi took ill mysteriously. And from all indication, it is obvious it is not something hospital can handle. His brother has been restless ever since then. I, I have been thinking of going to Mbom myself. But then, I think all is not well with me. I hardly sleep at night. It is from one nightmare to another. Same Yenze. We are all experiencing the same problem. In fact, as I talk to you, I don't sleep at night because I'm afraid of nightmares. <laughs> so what do we do? Now, let us humble ourselves and go to the chief priest. Eh? What will the people say? Ah, don't you think they may report us in the church? Hmm. What have they done since we shot ourselves in the legs? Oh. Eh? Let the people say what they like. We must take the bull by the horn. It is our problem. That's it. That's it. And we must solve it together. Listen, I'm ready. We can't even start going from here.
Ogumagara, the chameleon, said this. For the fact that the forest is on fire, will not make me lose the dignified walking steps of my fathers. I intentionally decided to wait for you because the moment a naked, a naked bird starts flying without perching, then the hunter, the shooter, will equally begin to shoot without aiming. Oboevi, we is over. Nine. Please. We are here with grieved hearts. We are here for solutions. All we've been hearing since we got here are proverbs. Yes, says a mom. Please, the eyes of the gods. Speak to us in the language that you can understand. Please. And proverbs. We cannot do without. Proverbs, we can never, never do without. Two things are involved. Two things are involved. First and foremost, you have to go to the very one you offended and tender an apology. Yes. Secondly, all of you, must be prepared to pass through the great sacred and ancient ritual of marking of tongues. Ika Manile. You were parading yourselves as Zenozo, while you are not. So by passing through the sacred and ancient ritual of Ika Manile, you are you will become part of the Zenozo group. Failing to do that, it means you go and announce to the entire people of Umungen that you are no longer part of the Nozo group. I repeat, you have to go around the entire kingdom of Umungen and let the people know that you are no longer members of the Nozo group. Hmm. I really wish if you refer to yourselves as the Nozo anymore. In this land, without doing what I've asked you to do, that is the marking of tongue, the ancient sacred ritual of Ikamanile. For you wish to undergo the ritual of ancient and sacred Ikamanile, marking of tongues, what you will see, what you will pass through, what you will experience will be more deadly, will be more dangerous than what they saw. What you will see, what you will pass through. Oh, boy, thank you, Dalo. Exactly, oh, boy. That is why we are here. Yes. We did not even go back to our various houses. Yes. Immediately, the chief priest said all that he said. We decided to come see you immediately. Please, make it easy for us. Oh, Bikukene. Obuefi, please, we are sorry for our past behaviors. Biko, tamper justice with mercy. Yes, Obuefi. Biko, Obuefi, if we can tamper, no, no, no. Obuefi, please, we are ready to change our ways for good. Please. The last time the others were in my compound, they came to warn me to desist from the truth. Finally today, elders are here in my Obi to embrace the same truth. Hmm. I am indeed very impressed because it shows we are making progress in the kingdom. Exactly, Obuevi. We've made progress. We have known the truth. But our peace is being taken away. Hmm. We are being tormented by forces that we cannot explain. Those are the forces that keep the land. Yes. Even um, Jesus the Christ 
in your Bible. If you ask those that read Bible, they will tell you that he mentioned of principalities and powers in the Bible and went for that to talk about some spirits in high places. Who are the principalities? Who are the powers? You may not be able to understand. But let me ask you. Now, if you are not at peace with the principalities that are in charge of a particular area, how can you live in peace there? Let us not go into all these exotic dimensions. Tell us what to do to be free again. Exactly what the chief priest already said. Chief priest has already told you what you are going to do. I cannot add anything. Okay. The prince was the person you offended, not me. The prince is determined to restore sanity in our land. Therefore, if now you have decided to be right at the same page with the prince, I think you have to go to him and explain yourselves. Let me tell you, the prince is a nice guy. He's going to listen to you. Okay. Oh, Boefi. Miko, if I may ask, uh, are you going to go with us? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, go with you, there's no problem. But if you want to move me, you are going to move me with a ram and the ten tubas of yam. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 Biko. Eh? Biko. Hey! One giant ram, ten tubas of yam. Ah, please. I don't want to talk about my father. Can we just talk about our victory? Belinda, my darling, calm down. Listen, this victory is a victory for all of us so that we can move on. As the good people of Omongene, it is not a victory so that we can hold animosity against anyone. Huh? Oh, you're right, my prince. You know I can never argue with you. But I'm not just going to pack my things and leave my uncle's house back to my father's house. He has to call my uncle to apologize. That is the only way my uncle will believe that he's truly sorry for making the house unbearable for me. True, true. I see sense in what you're saying. Um, and I am sure that your father would not have a problem with apologizing. You know my father is very stubborn. And it's that stubbornness that got us to where we are right now. My love, calm down. Listen, it is a new era in Omo Ingene. And we must learn to forgive. Not just forgive, but forgive and forget. Okay? Your father will do what is right. Okay? Of course, babe. You know I love you. Eh? I love you so much and I can't wait to hold you in my arms forever. And I love you too, my prince. I love you so, so much and I can't wait to see you. <laughs> Bye. Belinda. <laughs> I'm sure it's that your man that always keep you company through phone calls. Yes, uncle. He's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Oh, I love that. Relax. Be happy. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. See you later. Thank okay, you, uncle. <laughs> sure. I am very glad that finally we are sitting like this again in the palace right before the prince. I am indeed very delighted. <laughs> Although it cost us one ram and ten tubas of yam to bring you here with us, we are still happy we have you here. Okay, but younger, please, don't stand that way. Don't make it appear as if I have defrauded you. That is not the case. What you gave me is my entitlement as the only properly initiated onion zenozo in Umungene presently. By the time you, 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 you submit yourselves and pass through that same process of a Kamanile, 
you all will be qualified to make the same demand from other people. My prince, I have to say that my prince, without mixing words, we are sorry. We erred grievously by believing there are no gods and ancestors, by believing we can abandon the ways of our fathers and replace them with something else. We learned the hard way. We seek for your forgiveness. Please. My prince, it is said that when a man defecates on his way up, that when coming back, he will be accosted by flies. Oh, you me man. We are indeed ashamed of ourselves. It is greed for money that made us do what we did. We are sorry, my prince. My prince, we have realized our mistakes. Mm. And we are ready to make amends. Mm. Yes. Thank you very much, elders. You have all spoken well. <laughs> I am very happy that we're all privileged to be seated here today to devise ways in which this beautiful community can move forward. All I ever wanted was peace, unity, and justice. Collecting bribe. Sleeping with all the people's wives. Depriving the less privileged of their rights. Selling lands in our community and sharing the money amongst yourselves. Collecting money from dubious politicians to perpetuate evil in Omungene does not in any way make for good qualifications for someone who calls himself an elder in council. <laughs> yeah, Talk more of one who claims to be an Uzenoz. Mm. It is not right. Mm. But all of that happened because we neglected the ways of our fathers. Definitely. Mm. Let me ask you. Mm. You all connived and watered down the prestigious things and also monetized it. I made it available to all these little boys who come here to flaunt cash right in front of you. Even the Bible admonishes evil doers from perpetrating evil. In many places. We cannot live like that, you know, Mungena. For it is not right. Mm -mm. Now let me ask you. These men that you all collected monies from and made them believe that they were part of this fictitious organization that you set up that you called in Zenozo group. Are they here right now to protect you from the wrath of the gods? Oh, they are not here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Why? Because they feel they got what they paid for. And right now they are out of the picture. And you're here to face the bronze and live with the consequences of the actions that you have taken. But let me remind you all that if this man had gone through the ancient practice of Ika Manile, not only would they have acted accordingly, but they would have acted differently. Go to according. Go to according. My prince, we are ready to go through the process. Yes. Yes. Mm. Now. As well as well. I'm happy to hear that. Um, uh, there is this beautiful adage that you use very often. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. 
<laughs> that we have all agreed. I shall speak with the chief priest and we will pick a date. And I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm happy with the peace we now have. Mm -hmm. Thank you for going with us. <laughs> I now believe the saying that you don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. Honestly, boy, if you are a good man. Thank you. But actually, I am a man who is committed to peace. Absolutely. You may call me the most misunderstood man in this kingdom. I will not be far from the truth. I don't have any problem with anybody. My only problem is I had to see things being done the wrong way. I had to see people leading other people astray. That was my main problem with his letting Zobiora. Because to him, everything was money. Everything was money to the human being. This is now a new era of peace. Mm -hmm. And we shall all live long to enjoy it. <laughs> we shall all live long to enjoy it. That is it. I think I, I, I completely agree with you. You know, one thing our people must never forget is that the tradition of a people is their secret unto success. Show me a people that abandon their tradition and I will show you a people that are destined for doom. A compendium of knowledge. This is a new era in our life, like you said, and we have to leave to enjoy what is coming. I think we have to. Honestly. <laughs> Let us share for the new beginning. No, I think I'm. 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 I it is good to be here. Dalumaz, thank you very much. And I also want to thank you for allowing her stay with you through these times. You, you see, I would have been here um, earlier, but um, a lot was going on in Omongene that required my presence. My prince, I hold nothing against you. She's my daughter. And I know both of you, we are talking over the phone several times each day. <laughs> you would not let me rest. That is because your voice kept me going, baby. Thank you for standing by me through those times. You're welcome, my lord. And if I had the opportunity to do it again, I would do it over and over and over again. Anyway, I had all that happened. Look, sometimes things like this happen, but all is for good. But I'm really proud of you two for not giving up on your love. Uh, there was no way we could have given up on, on each other. We knew um, from the deepest part of our hearts that um, we wouldn't be able to live without each other. Everything is fine now. Um, peace has returned to Umongi. The elders have accepted to do what um, they vehemently disagreed with and rejected. So we're all fine now. That is a good news. And I know that nothing, nothing will ever stop you from taking her as your wife. Nothing will stop me. Um, however, I'm still waiting on her father, Ichi Lobutife. He has a role to play um, in all of this. But as soon as he does what he's meant to do for us, we shall become man and wife. Oh, my prince. That will be great. Let me um, get you something to eat real quick before you head to Mungo. Because you know how much I have missed your cooking. <laughs> I'll be back soon. All right, baby. Thank you. <laughs> I'm coming up. Oh, God. My prince wants to make you welcome. Thank you. Ah! Who's <laughs> there? You look at it. Eh? Yeah, now let me tell my canichis. Ah! Who's there? 
Ah, my prince. Eh? The one who, as an ordinary chief, refused me her daughter as a wife. Eh? <laughs> you have come to see me today. No, you are welcome to my palace. Eh? To what do I owe this visit? Uh, you know I feel very pained hearing that. But now everything is settled. Mm. And that is why I have come to apologize to you. I am sorry. It's fine. Destiny can be delayed, but cannot be changed. Right. Now I know that you and my daughter are destined to be together. <laughs> you have my full support. Dalo. I've accepted you as my son-in-law again. Dalo. <laughs> and I promise to make up for the time I wasted for you. It is fine, no? yes. <laughs> You wasted no time at all. We went through an ordeal that was necessary for proper understanding so that we can move forward as a people. Eh? So it is fine. But let me take this special gift as uh, my first gay uh, <laughs> for having you join the prestigious Zenozo group. You know, Monke. Once again, you're welcome. <laughs> and speaking of your daughter, I want you to know that things are fine with us. We kept talking, we kept communicating. Even all through the times that, you know, the tension was higher, we went through that phase of unnecessary politics, we were talking. Because our love for each other is real. I love your daughter. She's my queen. I will always be my queen. <laughs> I am happy to hear that. Thanks immensely for what you have done for us. You're welcome. I know exactly what to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. Uh, for the first time, let me entertain you. Ah, my prince. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> bother. <laughs> don't bother. really sorry for what I did to you, my daughter. I thought I was making the right choice for you. I never knew I was wrong. Thank God you stood your ground. I have given my consent to proceed with the one you love, the heir to the throne of our Umungene. Come with me so we can make all things right again. There is nothing to add, my in-law. You are indeed a man of ways. You summarized everything in just in one presentation. Thank you for coming. You are going now, now, now with her. Just like that, uncle. Without any apologies to you. I mean, to be honest, mm. I, I don't need any apologies from him, but you deserve an apology. Belinda, my daughter, that is where you got it wrong. I didn't know none of his apologies. Rather, you are the one that needs the apology. And he has rendered a wonderful one. My in-law, once again, you are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go in. I'm surprised we are conducting this business outside. Let's go in. Let's go. You are welcome. What's the mom man? <laughs> hey, Adam. We are so sorry for what we did. Pico Bagala. Forgive us. God knows why all those things happened. It's okay, mother. I miss my parents. I miss you too. No, welcome back. You know what? 
I prepared your favorite on ripe plantain with fresh fish, garnish with tomatoes, and fresh pepper. Are you serious? Just for you. It's okay, I'll go and dish it. Uh, what of my own favorite? Or am I not the one that went and brought her back? Nani Mela. Hmm? I don't have your time now. Let me go and tend to my daughter. Oh. We are coming. Like daughter, like mother. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank God for everything. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey, at least peace can be restored. Girl, I'm so happy you're back. See how you're shining. <laughs> This vacation is so good on you. Well, See how you're glowing. You call that a vacation? Of course. Okay. But girls, I missed you too. I missed you, missed you too. too. But you didn't try. You just disappeared. I'm sorry. It was a situation of things at the time. But I'm back now. Mm -hmm. So baby girl, give us the gist. Well, the gist is as simple as ABC. You are now looking at the new queen of Umungene. Are you serious? Yes, sir. So you are still getting married to the prince? Of course, oh. and very soon too. Wow. Thank I'm you. Thank you. And guess what? My once disappointed father is now so excited, he can't even wait. So everything is settled now. Yes. My friend, I am so so happy for you. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Too. Thank you. Uh, we'll miss you. Mm. And we also have a surprise for you. You remember we told you we are going back for our H&A? Mm. We were offered admission. I am so excited! Oh my so god! So this so calls for celebration! Yes, yes, yes. And we're going to have yes. guest handouts. Yes, we Before should. Before Her Royal Majesty leaves to our husband's house. You are absolutely right. Let me go inside to get my phone, get a bag and change my shoes. Yay! Yeah, we're celebrating! Yeah, she's, like, okay, right. she's, she's so fine. So oh. happy for her. Honestly, Bissim, I don't understand this. Who is this man and why is he kneeling in front of me? This man has been forgiven by the princess because he has begged her. And according to what he told me, made me to understand that he pleaded with her and she mm. forgave him. But my prince, please, something is really wrong somewhere. This family is really sinking. I would want you to step in now as the prince. Your father, his royal majesty, is Omeligwe the sixth of Umongene Kingdom. I think he has risen against his family. I am begging you, please, please, pity this repented brother, please. You have made me more confused. What connection does this young man have with my father? What exactly is going on here? My princess, it's the same thing I begged you before. You have forgiven me, but your father is still angry with my family. We are at the verge of bankruptcy. I have been told that the prince has to pray for me with the crown of the king before the anger of the king will free my family. Well, if it's something you feel like doing, then you go ahead and do it. I have already forgiven him and I have moved on with my life. No, 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 my princess, please. Uh, you see, this thing, you, you, you don't really need to leave it for your brother alone to do. Please. This is a request they, they, they are making from the entire family. And it will take a unanimous prayer from this family to free this man from what he's passing through. I beg you. Hmm? Because the, the father had already paid for his, his manipulations. And Oga de Panamaka in here on Acho. Please, so that he won't suffer too much. Because I'm going to have a phone. Biko. Who is your father? His father was Silas Hilo. Oh. Oh, 
Obwefi asisi wo bwa wo kobodo dum oke mmode. Obwefi wo yisa ba doku. Si wo bwa wo no ga dile ki mani ye jiro obodo nro obodo. Isa. Asim ke ga muna ma ji ja muna wo ku jiri ja ki ji ja na. Isa. Njo ni hu ina ina zo do na zo ina ina si hu. Utu aka ode. Ngo ngi ye konya ko na hina hu. Mo si furu wa tu kwe. Asim i ku buru ya o. Isa. Kangoro kangoro ngo mu. What are you doing? You are not doing anything. 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 Iha, dah fu, nanda je fu, dah mana nanda je mau. Iha. Abu Afi siwa bawa, okey mada. Hehehehe. Afi biar. Odogu. Hehehehe. Odogu. He will be getting married. To his woman tomorrow, and we are planning to crown him king. The next day, come back and there. Hey, 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 I don't have a problem with that. Good. I actually came to find out where you want the connection to take place. Or should we go to the central deity? Or is it going to happen at Ubimbako? We are. So that yeah. we know where to set up the occasion. I don't have a I if I have a I'm a genuine. I can't have a quick for George or one man looking for my own. But I love you. You see, it would have taken place at Bimbako. Had it been, it is a different family that will be producing the making. But since he's the prince, the son of the late king, let me fairly call him. I'm here to be able to. Therefore, the ceremony will definitely take place in his father's obi in the palace. That makes everything easy for me. I will set all the machinery in motion. And then on that Ekemake day, I will come to pick you here by 10 a.m. That is if you will be ready. Uh, uh, don't worry about myself. No, 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 as a crown prince of Omong in a kingdom, and as the heir to the throne, I decree total forgiveness. I hold this crown over your head. Whatever forgiveness and healing that you seek through this crown, that you shall get. You see, you see. Whatever wave of anger from my father that is crippling the fortunes of your family, may it be reversed after this. You see, you see. So shall it be on Ike Market Day. You see. So shall it be on Ori Market Day. Market Day. You see. So shall it be with you 
on our four market day. He say, so shall it be on our market day. He say, young man, look at me. I decree here and now that you are forgiven and you shall leave to the fulfillment of your destiny. He said, You are forgiven. Stay out with me. Again, Ori, I thought, I don't know what I'm saying. Thank you, my prince. Thank you for a benevolent gesture. I will not forget this until I die. Thank you, my prince. I will remain a friend to this royal family. Go in peace. Martins, when did you come back? I'm just coming back. I'm just coming back. I'm so sorry that you have to pass through such experience. Something in me asks me not to marry anyone else. That I still have a chance with the one that I love. I'm very much single. So I came back to know if that chance is still there for me. Oh my God. Because you still remain the only woman that I have ever loved. Please, I still want you to be my wife. <laughs> How beautiful. This is indeed a day of forgiveness and reconciliation. <laughs> if the both of you will oblige me and kneel here, I'd like to say a few words of prayer. In my capacity as the prince and heir to the throne of Omongene, I hold up over your heads the crown of my father. And today, I bless this union. We are indeed thankful for this reconciliation. And for everything happens for a reason and nothing stops God when he moves. Yes, Martins, you have made a beautiful decision by coming back. Thank you. And in my capacity as a prince and the family's representative, I tell you here and now that we shall give Asanze to you as a wife. Mm. After my coronation asking, huh? you and your family are invited. Wow. And every other person is invited. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You're all right. Huh? <laughs> ah, this is indeed a very beautiful day. Yes. All right, uh, this young man, I believe that you're happy. I'm equally happy. And you all are getting me a bit excited and emotional. So we just might have some refreshment. Asanzi, ah. over to you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, yes, yes. Please yes, make yes. yourselves comfortable. Thank, yes. thank you very much. Miss <laughs> Razak Yeah. Whatever thing that we remove from the goat to make it edible for human beings, those things are good for the swine. We are here as humans. We are not swines. And we are here for something big. Whatever town that is close to some people is actually far from other people. Ubudo Telaka. Well, in Dodin, so. Oh, well, it's your woman. 
the greatest tragedy that can befall any man is to wage war against his she. Onye bulu she uzo. Babu onye nasa. Today is indeed a great day. Because after the rain comes the thunder. That thunder is why we are here today. To experience the truth. Because today is that day that the truth is going to be established to be bigger than the biggest. As Nana had was a dear Benaji Wadikaka. The bag in a moon, yeah. I get a moon, yeah. Can I moon, yeah. Can I moon, yeah. He is a man. As Naka Lagana Limbo. Today is a special day. A remarkable day in the history of Umungene. Mm -hmm. My prince. And now, the spirit of my fathers, I know they are with me. I can't hurry. I'm so bad. I'm so as an ayaka like any lingual, you do a god. If I got that much in your own, I'm going to go. Yeah, go. Yeah, what's one? Yeah, by the authority of the gods. I hereby crown you as the Omeka of Lunanya of Umungere Kingdom. Igwe! Of Umungere Ofo pume iya de de kwa noba mhm amira de bu pume the same of what i removed here when your father died ofo pume the symbol of authority of kings in the mungene kingdom I hereby return same to this palace. Yeah. We have a new Symbol of authority. The man Gwenu. Yeah. Gwenu. Yeah. Where's Gwenu? Yeah. Where's Gwenu? Yeah. Thank you very much, Obuji. Was the summer before I returned to this palace? You are going to rule us. And you will rule us in accordance with your conviction. According to your conscience. As a man of truth. <laughs> <laughs> we can get your wife.
Indeed is filled with joy. Um, a lot would say that they would rule, but I choose to say that I would leave. Mm. <laughs> because in leadership, I am still in service to the people. Obwefi, you have said it all. Obwefi, see what Odogu, Odogu. I hear you. <laughs> it is indeed a new era for Omongene, mm -hmm. an era of truth, an era of light. I give you all my word that I shall lead you all aright. I shall lead you beyond your imagination. <laughs> if you look to my closest right, you shall see that I have also been blessed. Wow. <laughs> With a beautiful queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, my darling, from the moment I saw you, I knew that nothing will alter the love that I have for you in my heart. <laughs> this is not my victory alone. This is our victory, baby. <laughs> I want to say thank you to you in front of my very esteemed elders mm -hmm. in the presence of the people of Omongene. I want to thank you by, for standing by me through these times. Thank you. And I also pray that God keeps you alive so that you can unveil your plan for the women of Omongene. Thank you. I have 